Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. As always, I'm your fantabulous Hushin Kron, and that is a zombie coming after me. I should get away from that. Where am I going? I forgot which way I was going. Oh gods, this is what happens when I stop uh, playing for a few days. Oh gods, I can't move. Shit. And I'm immediately into a skeleton. Uh, you're weak to win. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. So, we are in some ruins here. And... Okay. There we are. Okay, now I'm to the point where I think I can communicate properly. Um, so, I do not think that these ruins are where I'm supposed to be right now. Um, come on. Why, why is this not responding? There we go. There that we go. Pretty good, shorty. Being big oh, level up. Take a drink. Losers. Yeah, and title proficiency is increased. I need to possibly switch out some time. Shut up! I'm doing a thing! Sorry, my PlayStation 4 decided to inform me that it lost the Wi-Fi, and so has my computer. I think someone's using the microwave currently. That's a thing at my current place. The, micro the internet goes out whenever someone starts using the microwave. Makes it very difficult to do things online. Which is one of the many reasons why episodes have been a little sporadic recently. I, even the episodes that I already had recorded, I had trouble actually uploading because of the... Shut up, PlayStation 4! That reminds me, anyone want to see my PS4 grabs today? I had to stop by... A GameStop to pick up a code for the Dark Rye giveaway, and I decided to uh, grab these things while I was there. Digimon, Cy Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Disgaea 5. I also pre-ordered a new Pokemon, going for Sun version because I want to catch that legendary, and I'm going to name it Liger Zero. Points to those of you in the audience that get that reference. And, uh... I also pre-ordered uh, Tokyo Mirage Session. Shut up! I know you've lost the Wi-Fi network. You know what? I'm gonna put that into sleep mode. J Sorry about the noise, everyone. Enter rest mode. For those of you wondering why I haven't done uh, PlayStation 4 games like I used to, I am still working out what's going on with my Hapage cap game capture. Uh, most of the research I can find is that it's just... Apparently not that good of a capture box. I, I don't know. I might need to just buy a new one if I want to do who, PS4 games. Um, anyone in the comments who can tell me what the issue might be, I plug it in, I put the power in, and nothing. It, it doesn't... It's not acknowledged on my computer. It doesn't take in the... It doesn't transfer through the video through the box. It's just like the video is going to nothing. It... It's just basically acting like a brick. A brick that lights up. It, it does light up. It does light up, so it, I can confirm that it's getting power at the very least. But nothing else. No information is going anywhere, apparently. So anyone who knows how to resolve that issue, please let me know. Oh, if you've got a suggestion. These will give Crimson Edge, so I'll put that on. Yeah, that's the... keep that. Hmm, these all give Dream Slasher, so we'll put that on. Fire Guardian. These all give the same thing. Prime Lord. These. Okay. And you. Oh, yeah. Dark Star, check it out. Your name's in. A I already made that joke, didn't I? Uh, for those of you wondering, I have a friend named Dark Star who appears pretty frequently on my Slosh SideQuest spin-off series, which I'm actually thinking of doing another spin-off series called uh, Mystery Game Theater, er, where uh, we play bad video games and give them the Mystery Science Theater 3000 treatment, god damn it. 
Juggle you. I don't care that it's, it's bad gameplay. It just keeps using the same thing. You're interrupting me, and it's making it very difficult to hold a conversation with my lovely audience, the dungeon drinkers. I don't know. I still haven't worked out what I want to call these them yet. All like ten of you that come and watch regularly. Oh, I'm out of SC. That's why. Okay. Here we go. There we go. There we go, okay. Uh, where is it that I'm trying to go? Am I trying to go here? This is a dead end, so I'm suspecting... Nope, I don't want to go here. Do not want to go here. I want to get out of here. Because I'm pretty sure that this ruin is not where I'm supposed to be. I've wasted over five minutes of this episode already just explaining things that are going on and trying to get out of these goddamn... I've prepared some gel. Um, thank you for that, Make Leo. That, that's very nice. It's very kind of you. Okay. I'm trying to find a way out of here and trying to remember where it is I'm supposed to go. Also, one of my friends confirmed for me that there isn't nearly as much side quest locking out in this as there have been in previous titles. And this is also a fairly short title, so if I want to go and get all the secret stuff, I can very easily do it on New Game Plus and just barrel through, like, all of the random encounters and such. Hello. Yep, that's what I was supposed to do. Take a drink for a secret. Okay, what is the news? I can't open you yet. I need a gold key. Shibu Inu Tail! Yes! Yes, 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 Okay, where is it? Bashon! Okay. Shiba Inu Tail. A gallant dog's tail. So curl. Mini heroism. Wow. I gotta make that match the color. Hold on. What's the color on this one? Uh, let's see. Edit. Color. Color is 105, 105, 80. Okay. If you guys can come up with a better color scheme to match uh, Saray's hair with this, please tell me, because I want this to look... I want it to look right on him. I want him... Because, let's face it, Puppy Saray is just so appropriate. Okay, I think I need 50 on this one. Was that it? That doesn't seem right. Okay, color 80. That's why. That's why. Okay, color. Let's pop in a little bit more of that. Bump it up to 80. That's better. I guess it matches the ears, but it doesn't. It's not quite. It's a race hair. No, I need to go darker. Huh. That actually looks really close close to me. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. Puppy Saray is go. <laughs> because it fits his personality so per perfectly. Shut up. It makes me happy. Alright. I have no idea how to get out of here now that I've gotten this far in is the only problem. I don't even remember what path I took, or if I'm even going the right way. God damn, this place is elaborate. Um... Oh! I can get out just over here. Right. Okay. I need to go to Pendrego. Not sure how to get to Pendrego. So yeah. Um, you guys can expect me to do a lot less wandering around going to random areas. That is because I now know that there's not nearly as bad of lockout on side quests as in this game as there have been in previous Tales of Titles. In particular, games like uh, Tales of the Abyss have made me very paranoid about being locked out of side quests. But uh, we're going to go ahead and run all the way across the field to Pendrago because my friend who also plays Tales of Games told me that's where Pendrago is, that's where we need to go. She also suggested that the next time I do a Tales of game, that uh, we do it co-op up 
because these games support up to four players. I'm not sure if the PC version works quite as well for that, but I do have a secondary controller. If, if uh, you guys would like me to start doing that, that would also make it so that I don't clam up during combat nearly as much. Because, let's face it, when I'm pretty good at rambling on and on, not necessarily making jokes, because, <laughs> let's face it, Mr. Funny Man and is all alone, suffering from his crippling loneliness. He doesn't know what to talk about because he runs a solo show. <sighs> yeah, anyways. Oh, as I was saying earlier, this actually ties back into it. Mystery Game Theater, where we play really bad video games and give them the Mystery Science Theater 3000 treatment. And I think that that would be a lot of fun to do, and I also think that it would be, you know, a good way to get more viewers into the channel. Also, please let me know in the comments below what you think of that idea. I'll try and remember to pitch it in a couple of more videos so that people actually hear about it, it if they miss this particular one. And, um... And yeah, that would be something that I would do with friends if I did it, or like even people who just wanted to guest star on the show. Oh, I'd be willing up to do that. And the idea would be between each and every episode, if someone else would have the controller so that one person is in the pilot Whoa. seat and the other people are this telling place the riffs. Is huge. And... Yes, oh. Pendrago is the largest city on the Glenwood Dang. continent. Dang! You know, despite the really hmm. depressive we find an atmosphere, this is really cool looking. The plaza. You this sure is know a your cool way city. Well, you know, I used to come here a lot. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Point of interest. Fountain in the square, and that is a skit. But Take a drink, Lendon everyone. Fountain. Yeah, it's one of the famous sites of Pendrago. A fountain. I don't know a okay. lot about it, but supposedly ooh, water, the water's ooh. piped in from afar through an underground channel. Uh Oh, I okay. see. Okay, well, I suppose that so would be pretty cool for technology for this setting, I guess. Stupid, simple humans. Hey, it serves well, a purpose. considering their lack of seraphic arts, it I looks think their awesome. advancement That's what its purpose is. And also, Useless, you can use it to collect pointless, waste of charity effort. money it's by also having... The fountain of Wrath. Fountain yeah. of Wrath. Why do they call it that? Fountain of Wrath. Something with the piping's all messed up. Every now and then... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like whoa. Oh, dear. Stupid, stupid humans. Um, look away. Look away. Potential, I don't know. Uh, that That's potentially not okay. I don't know if I need to censor that or not. Probably not. I didn't really look that hard. As soon as I realized what was going on, I looked down at the text. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, I'm a little tired. Can anyone tell? <laughs> Anyway, okay, it's equipment with open slots. Void Slasher. When did I get this? That sounds awesome. Oh, but whoa, that's... Not nearly as powerful as this blade, though. Wait a minute, why is that... Why is that sword so much more stronger? Huh. I'll put it on this sword, I guess. Okay. Justice. Okay. So take a drink for finding a Norman. Hold on, I kind of want to see what this blade looks like. I know it, that it's worse stat-wise, but it sounds really epic. Oh. Oh. Just a recolor of the other kind, I think. Huh. Dang it, I miss having the ability to actually see what the blade looks like. I miss that. I miss having that power. That happy, happy power. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. This is slightly better stats, but this one is not, uh... This one's not capped yet, so I'll do this one so that it's cheaper to fuse. That's one of the things about this game, is that it tries to, like, expand on a lot of the stuff that was introduced in Graces, but it's not doesn't quite execute it quite right, it feels like. And hello, Mr. Night Guy. Oh. Oh. That's a... That's a Hellion. But to him, it just looks like a civilian. Not good. Whoa! Okay, that should tip them off that something weird's going on. On? Sergey, 
Normal civilians can't do that. He's Puppy Saray is here to orders. save the day. I tried to apprehend him, but oh, you saw what he was like. His movements were incredible. He's also a hellion. It was a hellion. Yeah. The cardinal's underling is a hellion. Then, you know, I'm starting to see why people Forgive might me, sir. abuse He's this hellion the thing. Church. I mean, you get. You turn into a monster, yes, but you also it get super like cool true. powers, and no one can tell that you have them. I believe he was likely a messenger of... Edna, what are you doing? I'm cold. You can blather on inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm tell talking over everyone, it's that I'm trying to prevent rain, uh, getting... Please. Copyright claims, are feeling a bit chilly, which and even a have, have can cropped catch up a cold. on several more recent episodes of this. So I'm Friends. trying to maintain a conversation so that Not it's that you could more tell, since you can't of the content them. of me interacting with the game and talking to you guys is so that that way it won't be copyrighted Forgive claimed me. as much. I should have been mindful of the Seraphim's presence. Oh, right. Let us head for the Knight's Tower. That's right. He's aware of the Seraphim, even Your if he's not actually aware yeah. of them. Wait a minute, my wife is consu- Oh, wait, that's right, he thinks he they're still married. He thinks they're married. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I guess we're rolling with this. Okay. Well, I still am going to take the time to look around for- Ooh, treasure! Treasure, treasure, treasure. Each gel, that's handy. Okay. Okay, so I'm still going to be wandering around searching for treasure and the like in these towns, but I'm going to be less likely to actually, you know, oh, spend all my time searching down every hidden little thing now that I know that there's not nearly as big of a lockout problem in this. And if I do get locked out on something, apparently it's really easy for me to just go and do it on my own on a new game plus. Okay, so let's see. Baked tomato. I'm gonna go with this Drago stew. That sound. That looks delicious, actually. Supposedly it should be eaten a certain way. Oh, but that steak. Mm, this make me hungry. I don't think I've had dinner proper yet, to be There's honest. There's something I want to tell you, since you've acquired the power to armatize. Yeah? Hidden What's arts that? are stronger than martial arts. Seraphic arts are stronger than hidden arts. And martial arts are stronger than seraphic arts. That's the basics. We already know that. But we can only use martial arts and seraphic arts. Which means that seraphim aren't able to accommodate all types of enemies. Okay. You guys can use martial arts and hidden arts on your own. And during armatization, you can use hidden arts and seraphic arts. Okay. Human seraphim and armatization. So we can oh, compensate okay. for so each that of the three different types depending on how we use them. Is also dependent yeah. on who's example, in my party. Humans can only do any martial arts. and hidden, it would be more and advantageous if you armatize. Seraphim can only of course, do you may encounter martial enemies and which can be taken down more easily when you are not armatized as well. Uh -huh. It just means that the armatization isn't all powerful. Right. There's the advantage of being able to concentrate Freedom. two powers into mm. one. But there's also a disadvantage to okay, that as well. Okay, yeah, we. This Assess is a fairly easy concept. You don't have to keep hammering it home. But the worst situation you can get yourself. I mean, you've been getting talking about this overthinking things. over and over you've again. Find All you really added there. to me is the fact take that one step at the a time. characters can only Thanks, use Desel. two out of three of the sides at it. At a time, unless they're armatized, in which case I believe they can use all three, or maybe they can only use hidden and sephiric, and no martial. Well, then I I don't know. I'm not sure what it is you're trying to communicate here. Originally, the Shrine Church was erected in a... They call it the Shrine Church. Okay, okay. I can dig it. It's the Shrine Church, okay. That, that's, that's hilarious, but that's fine. That's cool. Okay. Oh, almost out of time for today's episode. I should probably stop wandering around and actually get something done. But I really want to check if there's any weapons to purchase, so I'm going to do that real quick, everyone. But no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to this guy. Okay, Apple Gel. Amphimil Dagger. Ooh. Ooh, finally an umbrella. Okay, pop that. Pop that. Thank you. 
Calcite Ribbon Die. Um, who can use it? Ooh. Yeah, sure, I'll get... Oh, I can only get one of those. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I'll get one of those, too. Calcite Ribbon Die. Um, sure. Sure. That's fine. Familiar face. Screw it, I'll buy that, too. Okay. Let's go to equipment real quick. Huh. Oh, blast gate for the floor. Ugh, god damn. This is me going through all this stuff again, realizing that, hey, you know what? There's some times that it's not worth it actually upgrading because friggin' stupid secret skills are a thing in this. Ugh, sorry. Okay, um... I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna try and get one more cutscene in this just because this was a pretty light con this episode was pretty light on actual progress for you guys. So let's see, real quick. Yeah, that's better. That's better equipment for him. Shock ward, slow ward. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put that on you. And No. It's good for you. Oh, right, you got set up to where you have a full set. So there's no point to giving you a different thing. Because you have a full set as a result. Yeah, sure. There we go. Weird I haven't gotten anything for you, but at least I finally got an upgrade for her. So that's good. And I feel like I just got, like, several upgrades in a row for you. All right. Okay, we good, we good. Alright, let's continue. Let's continue, we need to go to Knight's Tower. I don't know where that is. Eastern Quarter, Castle, Discoes. I guess it's in the Eastern Quarter, or maybe it is in the castle. Let's check the Eastern Quarter first. Just because we're closer to it. Okay, ooh, herbs. Take that, thank you. Okay, wind stepping. That means I'll be able to get around faster now. Thank you. Ooh, treasure. -ar. Take a drink for the treasure. -ar. Roll the bottle. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay, Commander Highland Nelson is undernourished. Capitalism is so bad, but the countryside is not rare to find people starving. You mean with the rows and rows of wheat and the poisonous potatoes that you grow? Is it any wonder that you have people starving, considering you have rows of poisonous potatoes growing, Nels? Whoa, there's a there's a thing over there. How do I get to it? I want to I want to go to the thing. I want to go to the thing. How do I go to the thing? I want to do the thing. Let me do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. How do I how do I get to the thing? I want to go do the thing. This is how I get to the thing. Yes. There's a thing over here. It's a turtles. Hello, turtles. He betrayed a turtle. He can't be forgiven. He better be waiting with his head up from his shell. Oh yeah, I made a new map. Yeah, I'll buy that. Thanks for the business. Now we can continue our journey. Okay, I got him a new map. Round the capital. Okay, I wish the cardinal would magic up one of your miracles to sort this all out. Miracles. Some tells me it's not actually a miracle. It's probably actually a hellion power thing. Okay. Okay. Now... Knight's Tower. Okay. Okay, so it was in the castle area. Was in the castle area. Okay. Ooh! Treasure art. Treasure art. Treasure art. Treasure Thank you for the panacea bottle. And strawberry shortcake. Okay, take a drink for that. A mm. lot of drink. Okay. Going in. Here we go. Do this cutscene. Get to the first save favorable spot, and we'll this have to This should be call a better place to talk. Night. Did everything go okay? Can we get in the church? Someone tells me that it didn't. I secured the permissions, but after that last incident, I'm afraid we're likely under high scrutiny. 
Probably, yeah. So what else is new? They weren't big fans of us in the first place. Why did you go to arrest that yeah, guy anyway? Good point. We've got nothing to hide. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. This. Look at that. Ever since Rose joined up with us, I feel like Saray has become so much more proactive. What are you talking about? Too bad it means that much more trouble for us. How is he more proactive? Thank you. I fail to see the difference between Saray now and how he with. was before Besides, Rose joined up. I really wanted to see the shrine inside the church. Yes, exactly, see? There's something about you that reminds me of the Pope. He too would never hesitate to spare expenses for the sake of his people. Saray is oh essentially... Boy, another masochist. Saray is I a see. paladin. I've prepared lodgings for you. I pray that the Seraphim will also be able to rest well tonight. Yay. But Captain... It's been three days since last we heard from Boris after his infiltration. I believe we should hurry. Your gauntlets are kind of cool. Who's Your helmets Boris? are kind of stupid, though. The rain may be affecting our food supplies, but I shall prepare our famous Drago stew for you. Wow. Aren't you Good the least deflection. bit concerned? He's your only brother. Wow. Okay. Okay. I do not wish to burden you with my troubles any more than I already have. Too bad. Please rest for now. We're main characters. We're going to get burdened with your troubles no matter it's what. A kind it's offer. what we do. Let's take it. Okay, fine. We will. Thank you. Puppy Saray needs to have his puppy naps anyways. Okay. I do kind of like that they have that whole sequence of him of them jumping back into Saray after exiting a cutscene. Anyways, that's all we have time for today. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the series. Let me know if you have any suggestions for other games to play on Dream and Dungeons. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye!